Hello and welcome to another AQA GCSC revision video. In this video we're looking at the 8300 series uh, May June past papers. This is the second paper in the higher tier. It is a calculator paper so we are allowed to use calculators and we pick it up in question 8 which reads Lily goes on a car journey. For the first 30 minutes her average speed is 40 miles per hour. She then stops for 15 minutes. She then completes the journey at an average speed of 60 miles per hour. The total journey time is one hour. Draw a distance time graph for her journey. Okay, so they've very kindly given us the distance there in, on the y-axis and the time taken on the x-axis. So we don't have to worry about the scale or anything. All we have to do is draw the line. So... What do we know? For the first 30 minutes, her average speed is 40 miles per hour. Well, 30 minutes is half an hour. So at 40 miles per hour, for half an hour, she's going to have covered 20 miles. So we can't actually say what her actual speed is, but we know her average speed. So let's simplify that to a straight line. Uh, so we're looking at 20 miles for the first 30 minutes. So 30 minutes she's done 20 miles okay then so that's her average speed uh, of um, 40 miles per hour for the first 30 minutes she then stops for 15 minutes so the fact is that this is a distance time graph, not a speed time graph. So the fact that she's got zero speed means her distance isn't changing. She's still at 20 miles from her point of origin. And 15 minutes, 30 plus 15 is 45. So we're drawing from the 30 minute mark to the 45 minute mark. And during that time, her distance does not change. So we've got a nice horizontal line. OK, then we're told she then completes the journey at an average speed of 60 miles per hour. So she's going up to 60 minutes, isn't it? For, um, the total journey time is one hour. So one hour is 60 minutes. And she's travelling at 60 miles per hour. Uh, 60 miles per hour is one mile per in every one minute. Uh, so uh, her total journey time is 60 minutes. So we're finishing at the 60 minute mark. So between 45 and 60 minutes, that's another 15 minutes. And at one mile every minute, that's 15 miles. So 15 plus 20 is 35. So she's going to be at 35 miles in the next 15 minutes which takes us up to 60 minutes so 60 minutes from the time her journey started she's now at 35 miles and that is our distance time graph uh, part 8b says write down the average speed for the total journey well, the average speed for the total journey is distance travelled over time taken. Well, the distance travelled is 35 miles in 60 minutes. Well, 60 minutes is one hour, so that's just 35 miles per hour. or 35 mph. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. If you're taking your GCSEs this year, I'd like to wish you every success with your revision and every success with your exams. And I'll look forward to seeing you in another video.